Game Viewer, and today I get my very first fan requested game review. And it is on the absolutely badass, absolutely gory, and absolutely best fighting game I've ever played, Mortal Kombat. Now, it's my it was my number one most anticipated game of last year, so let's get to the review. Now what I really enjoyed about uh, the storyline in Mortal Kombat, or at least this one, is that it actually ties directly to the storyline between Deadly Alliance and Armageddon. As you can see, that old epic war at the end, uh, well, it looks like uh, there weren't too many survivors. And what happens is that Raiden is the only survivor, and right as he's about to be killed, he actually sends a telepathic message to a past version of himself to change specific events that has ha that have happened throughout the entire storyline of Mortal Kombat in order to change the future and prevent his futuristic death. Now, this storyline was actually very well done. I would even say I would like to see a story like this done for like a future movie. Now, that's not going to be the storyline for the upcoming Mortal Kombat movie. But still, out of every storyline that the entire Mortal Kombat series has had, this is absolutely the best. And when the sequel comes along, I definitely would like to see them continue it. However, I was a little disappointed that uh, Sindel was able to kill pretty much the entire good cast in like less than, a, less than a minute. But other than that, the ending is very satisfying, and if you have not played it, this is definitely the, probably the best fighting story out there today. Now, Mortal Kombat has 30 fighters that you can select from, including all the DLC characters over here. And each of them both has their own strengths and weaknesses. Now, like, here's an example. Kratos can actually do pretty powerful up-close attacks, but he's not a very fast character, as opposed to someone like Scorpion, who's incredibly fast and strong at the same time, who's also different from someone like Raiden, whose powers are actually a little bit stronger than normal, but, you know, his karate skills up close aren't very strong. So it's really the type of fighting game that you really need to pick a specific group of characters and really practice with those. If you ever meet me in person and want to fight me in Mortal Kombat, uh, you'll find out who my favorite character is very quickly, and uh, me and him kick a lot of serious ass. Now the, com now, the gameplay combat for Mortal Kombat pretty much plays like all the previous installments, except we're no longer on a 3D plane. It's now strictly a 2D plane. Now, personally, my favorite addition to the Mortal Kombat franchise is the addition of the X-Ray, as you will see now. These very devastating attacks can cause serious damage and can easily tip the battle in your favor. And fatalities have made the return, and they are tripping. They are just as gory as ever. Like so. Fatality. Now, another great gameplay aspect that they added was the challenge tower. And these are kind of like mini fighting challenges, kind of like how you had the little, I don't know, the little stupid tra challenge story arena that you had in the previous three games. If I remember correctly, there's over like 150 of these, so they're going to take you quite a while. And uh, the only prize you get for going through this entire tower is apparently a costume for Melina, in which she's kind of like pretty much I'd say 85% naked and she's just covered in some rags so I was a little disappointed about that. The crypt has made its return too and boy is it bigger than ever. Like all, like the previous three games before, the crypt is pretty much filled with your typical, you know, you know, fa you know, gameplay art, unlocked fatalities, unlocked costumes, a couple of videos I think and combat modes and specific special move and comp and just just a whole bunch of extras that any Mortal Kombat fan would have. I am a little disappointed how, you know, it's not really anything different. I kind of would have liked for them to have videos in this one like they did in uh, Deadly Alliance. I mean, who remembers cooking with Scorpion? 
I must have played that video I don't know how many times. It was pretty funny, so I was a little disappointed with that. This script was, you know, it's just kind of blah. Another cool aspect about the gameplay is that you can now play up to four players at once. So if you have a group of friends over, you can all either fight on teams or even better, you can actually have two local players actually go online to take on other, lo other online player games. And that was really something I had never seen in a fighting game. Finally, the best addition that NetherRealm Studios added to Mortal Kombat, that's something I didn't think would ever work very well, is Tag Team. I mean, we're all, we all know that using tag teams isn't new in fighting games, but the fact that they were actually able to add tag teams in Mortal Kombat and surprisingly work is just absolutely amazing. Now the best thing about tag teams is that you can actually have your teammate come out and do a really cool badass move as you saw now. If you want to, if you want to use your opponent, basically you just press the L1 and R1 button and then your partner switches out. And if you actually do it well enough, you can actually cause them to do a really cool attack, which I'll attempt to do right here. Now, unfortunately, I don't feel like downloading the stupid downloadable to go on multiplayer, but the only flaw that I had with Mortal, this Mortal Kombat is the fact that you... It's, it's just too much lagging online. I don't really like the whole King of the Hills thing. I didn't particularly care for for it very much and when I tried to play with my friends it kept booting me out so that's really one of the main reasons why I don't like multiplayer gaming it's simply unless you have a really good online connection which I would say I have a pretty decent connection you just can't play with your friends online which is why I prefer playing in person so other than that that's really the only real flaw I have and the fact that Sindel killed most of the characters near the end of the storyline and then the ending is kind of messed up, but decent enough. Mortal Kombat is not just the best fighting game I have ever played, it's probably the best fighting game most people I know have played. Mortal Kombat is also my favorite fighting franchise. Now, this was my most anticipated game of last year, but sadly two other games kind of beat it to the punch. But I would definitely give this game a solid 9.5 9 out of 10. Definitely an A-plus title. If you don't have it, you need to get it. If you're a fan of fighting games, why don't you have it? This is better than Capcom vs. Marvel, or even that piece of crap Street Fighter vs. Tekken stuff, because Street Fighter and Tekken are nothing to Mortal Kombat. And that is a statement I make publicly. If you like this review, please comment down below, like, and subscribe up top. And if you would also, if you also have a movie or a game that you would like me to review, please comment down below and I will get it out as soon as I can. And like always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Thanks.